Hi everyone, Amy here. I have decided that I am going to be cooking corn cakes. So, corn cakes are a beautiful uh, little snack. So, they're really quick and easy to make and prepare. So I have all of my ingredients weighed up and ready to go. So I'm going to be making it for you and then I'll show you the end product later. So we are gonna start off with 50 grams of butter. Always washing your hands before you start. And we want 50 grams of sugar. I always like to clean up as I go. So what you want to do is you want to mix your butter and sugar, your electric beater, on a low speed. So once your butter and sugar has come together, you want to add in two tablespoons of corn flour. And our two tablespoons of vinegar. So, Let's mix those together. Okay, so what we want to do from here is we want to add in one cup of water. And then we want to put in 190 grams of plain flour and I like to put in a quarter at a time Now before I stir that in, what I also want to do is I want to add in 125 grams of polenta, which is Italian cornmeal. And to finish it off, one tablespoon of baking powder. So I want to mix this all together now. Okay, so I have my beautiful mixture. So I'm gonna turn off my electric mixer. If you've got kids around, they can certainly clean um, the beaters for you. Otherwise, just wash them. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here. Okay, so what I've done is earlier, I greased a muffin pan with butter and a paper towel. So what I want to do now is, I just want to get a good tablespoon and I'm just going to evenly distribute the muffin mixture into each of the serves so that I get 12 corn cakes. 
some people use ice cream scoops. I don't have a problem with um, the tablespoon. So you do what works for you. You can hear my cats in the background playing. Just going round and round. So the reason that they're corn cakes and there's no corn kernels present is from the corn flour and then from the polenta, which as I said before, is your corn meal. So you can have these for breakfast. These can be a really nice afternoon snack. Um, so. I like to have them, because they're savoury, I like to have them with a salsa. You can have them on their own. Um, you can have them with like bacon and eggs if you want. They're a real, it's a really versatile uh, snack. Um, you can put it in the kids lunch box. It's a really good uh, morning tea or afternoon tea snack. So you can do like a corn cake and um, some celery sticks and some carrot sticks and some salsa, it's really nice. Um, or peanut butter or a beetroot dip. Um, it really depends on what your kids like to eat. Um, even if you put it in your partner's lunchbox for work or even if you take it yourself. So um, the vegetables that you like to eat um, and the dip that you like to eat. So, now that we have our mix, the oven is set at 200 degrees. Um, so if you're watching from overseas, it is 400 degrees Fahrenheit or it's gas mark six. oven which is really helpful so we'll come back in 20 minutes and I'll use uh, my wooden skewer to make sure each of them are cooked if they're cooked I'll take them out of the oven um, and I'll put them onto I'll let them sit in the muffin tin for 10 minutes to cool down and then I'll sit them onto my cooling rack to cool down completely um, and then what I like to do is I like to get these snap lock bags um, you can get the small or the medium I love to um, individually pack them and put them in the freezer so that they last me longer. And all I do is take them out the night before so that they're thawed and ready for morning tea or afternoon tea the next day. So I'll check back in with you in 20 minutes when the corn cakes are done. Hey everyone, so it has been 20 minutes which is the perfect amount of cooking time. So I am going to turn the camera around so you can see the finished result. So here are the corn cakes. So I've got 12 of them on the cooling rack. So once they've completely cooled, I will put them into the uh, freezer bag. 